I'm Dahlia. What can I help you with? I see people go by here every day. I really don't pay much attention to them. I don't give a rad rat's ass. I'm sorry. I'm just a gun who was hired to stand here and guard this trail. Other than that, I don't know what's going on around here. I had a daughter once, though, and... Yeah. Some guy went by here. I let him go through because he knew the proper sign. Just like the sign you gave me. Go on. I'm out of here.
Are you, stranger? So the job's done? Do we have access to the vault? So they finally got reasonable. I can bull the Congress into sending supplies and techs. You sure we can get into the vault? I've always believed in fair pay for fair work. My assistant will square things up. Damn! The only person who knew all this was Fergus. I'm not suggesting anything, but maybe Gunther should know about this. I'm Roger Weston, and you can't come barging in here. What do you want? That all. Talk to my foreman, Felix. Dumont recommended you. Well, that's good enough for me. Something or someone has been raiding my Brahmin at night. I need to find out what's up. How about going out there and looking into it for me? I'll pay you for your trouble. Excellent. Felix will guide you out there. Now, if you'll excuse me.
How are you doing, stranger? Hope everything worked out for you at the squat. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. It was my pleasure to do what I could for you. So what can I help you with? What do you want to know? No, I'm not. I'm here of my own free will, and I like it. I think this will be a safe place for me to stay a while. What do you want to know? After I left the squat, I didn't know what to do with myself. Figured I'd just drift into another town and another hired gun job. So I was wandering the desert, trying to decide exactly where I should go. Well, one day I was looking for a good place to camp. It was getting late, and I didn't want to be out in the open after dark. Off in the distance a ways, I thought I saw a campfire. So I decided to see who was there. So I sneak up on this campsite, and there's these two death claws sitting around the fire, just chatting away. Idiot that I am, I let out a little cry of surprise, jumped up, and turned to run, right into the arms of another death claw standing right behind me. Anyways, to make a long story short, it took a while for me to realize that I wasn't about to be put on a spit and barbecued. Instead, I was brought here and interviewed by Gruthar. Now I can live here if I want. What do you want to know? When I let you buy me in the squat, I broke my contract with my employer. I was sure that I'd be hunted down and killed because of it. Seeing you here convinces me that I don't have to worry about that. I can only assume that my previous employer is no longer in any condition to be concerned with me or my whereabouts. Thanks, stranger. That takes a load off my mind. What do you want to know?
chosen, chosen, do you hear me? The village dies, all of our futures die too. We have little left in both time and essence. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hello again, citizen. Something I can help you with. All right then. Download the information into my pit boy, and I'll log it into the patrol computers. This intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's payment for your services. Five hundred dollars. Plus, you might find this useful. It's a volt tech motion sensor. We were gonna strip it for parts since it's too old for our pit boys, but it looks like it's compatible with your model. Keep it in your hand, and it IDs hostiles in your immediate area when you use it. Or you can call up the Pit Boy Auto Map as normal. Then just click the scanner button, and they're lit up like a neon sign. Yes, citizen. What did you want to know? Yeah, there is something. I've been looking for your reconnaissance report, and I found a small village nearby swarming with, uh, mole rats? That's what the outsiders call them, right? I want you to go there, and exterminate all those beasts. What for? I don't need to explain my motives to you. I give orders, and you take them. That's how it is. If you don't want the job, I'll send a squad to do it instead. But things sometimes get a little messy when I set my boys loose. Excellent. Here, let me show you the exact location of the village. Pay $750. Just come back and collect once you finish the task. One more thing. If you don't deal with it in a month, I'll send a squad there to eliminate the monsters. And any other threat.
Good day, citizen. Can I help you? Of course, citizen. What is it you'd like to know? Actually, yes. Sergeant Stark reported something on this to me recently. What interest do you have in this matter? Recruiting servants is not the issue here. The issue is the threat that these monsters pose to Vault City. According to Sergeant Stark's report, the people of that village seem to coexist with those huge rat creatures. If that's true, they may have found a way to control them. And perhaps that's why these creatures have begun to attack our patrols. Sergeant Stark plans to eliminate these pests, and he has my full support. An interesting proposition. But how exactly do you plan to deal with all those rat creatures? Really? Very well then. I'll take your word for it. The raid will be postponed for a month. There, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running.
<laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. Well, sorta. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <coughs> oh, yeah, that would be bad. <coughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <coughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. <coughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> not much chance of that happening. <laughs> they shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community some way south. I'm Woos. What do you want? You want a drink, huh? 
Well, we've got our very own Gamma Gulp beer at $5 a bottle, and, for special occasions, our Rentgen rum at $12 a bottle. Yeah. Gamma Gulp beer. You deaf or something? What'll it be? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? You must be really hard up for friends. That'll cost you $35. All right, done. Anything else? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? You must be really hard up for friends. That'll... All right, done. Anything else? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? You must be really hard up for friends. All right, done. Anything else? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? You must be really hard up for friends. That'll... All right, done. Anything else? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? You must be really hard up for friends. All right, done. Anything else? Hello there. My name's Gordon. Gordon of Gecko.
I look for opportunities. I look for ways of maximizing my potential worth. I am greedy, but most people misunderstand greed. Greed is a powerful driving force. Throughout history, mankind's greatest achievements were driven by men that wanted to better their positions. Driven by greed. Greed, for a lack of a better word, is good. So far, not much. But in greed lies Gecko's salvation. I have important information about the survival of Gecko, but I can't get anyone to listen to me. Well... I've calculated that if our reactor was running properly, we could generate an enormous amount of excess power, far more than Gecko needs. I've also found out from a very reliable source that Vault City cannot expand with that additional power. One night, I heard a voice calling to me from the reactor pit over there. A voice out of the shadows. I didn't know what to think at first. But what the voice said sure made a lot of sense. Its figures all check out, too. Don't know who or what the voice is, but the facts all tally up just like it said. Vault City, you see, has enough power for their current needs. As long as they're careful. But the vault power plant that they use was never designed for the increased load their city is putting on it. It's at peak capacity right now. Without more power, they can expand. Well, if our power plant's working better, we could trade our excess power and technical expertise to Vault City in exchange for medical technology. Without more power, Vault City will burn out their reactor within 15 years. If Gecko's reactor isn't repaired, we won't last half that time. Without medical technology, all of us ghouls are going to die off in the next 20 years anyway. Everyone loses if Vault City and Gecko don't cooperate. Not at all. I've got my end covered. I'd be the natural choice to administer this project. Greed is my driving force, but thousands of lives are saved by it. Greed is good. At least it would be if I could get anyone in Vault City to read my economic data. Well, I have all the relevant economic data on a disk. You may have it. If you promise to show the data to someone in Vault City that can understand and make use of the data it contains. But be discreet with it. Not everyone there will be happy you talk to us ghouls. So many things pass away. Times are not what they were. I feel that my sole remaining kin has died. Mad though he was, I wish it were not so. I had hoped that he might find some happiness even in his dotage. Well, enough of my sad musings. The actions I propose! would benefit thousands of Vault City and Gecko's citizens. You may not care for me or my motives, but the results are still well worth working toward. You must get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator from Vault City in order to repair the Gecko reactor. If you don't, then Vault City will no doubt attack Gecko. Of course, by destroying the reactor, they will doom themselves in the long run as well. 
In order to survive, both Gecko and the Vault City will need to cooperate. Vault City needs the power from our atomic reactor in order to expand. And we need Vault City's medical technology. Unless we cooperate, both cities will stagnate. Vault City needs to help us to repair our power plant. You have to show them that it's in their own best interest to do so. People are easily manipulated through self-interest. They'll give you the hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator if you can prove that doing so benefits Vault City. I have prepared an economic report that details just how much repairing our power plant benefits Vault City. I'll let our comrades here in Gecko know of your mission. I think that uh, McClure is the only council member in Vault City with enough brains to be able to see past his prejudices. He'll make sure you get what you need. It appears that Gordon has already given you his economic data disk that I speak of. Take it to Vault City immediately. Good day, citizen. Of course, citizen. What is it you'd like to know? What do you mean? That's an acceptable solution. Stopping the radiation poisoning is all I care about. Go see Randall, the chief amenities officer. He should have the part in stock. I'm sorry, an economic data disk? What do you mean? I see. So, what does this have to do with me? I'm not going to ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? Are you suggesting we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not listen. Hmm. As far as medical assistance goes, I'm not unsympathetic to the plight of the ghouls. They certainly have suffered enough. But how could we optimize their plant? I have no objections to your proposal. If you can find some means of optimizing the plan, let me know. I'll keep the economic disc and study it some more. Perhaps I can persuade the Council to enter negotiations with Gecko to trade for their power. The data disc could be a strong argument in of itself.
here. Why isn't your video feed working? Well, your unit still doesn't appear to be operational, pal. Who is this? <sighs> Ain't it the truth? Just don't let anyone who's got the president's ear hear that. You'll be making cattle runs to New Reno till the end of time, pal. Oh, very funny. But you'd have a great place to recover from your run. At least from what I hear. This is Enclave Maincom. But you should know that. Who are you? Oh, you wise guy, huh? Look, I'm tracing you right now, pal. We'll see how smart you feel with internal security all over your freaking ass, dickhead. A few more moments and I'll have your sorry ass in a sling. Hey, wait a minute. This can't be right. I've got you somewhere on the mainland. <laughs> well, whoever you are, I just dispatched a Verde assault team to your location. Have a nice day. Usually they just go in shooting. They let someone else sift through the ashes to figure out what was going on. Yeah, goodbye. Next news on you will be when I read the after-action report. What brings you to this part of my atomic reactor? You have a spare hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator on you? Surprised? I told you that I know all about atomic power plants. You should have listened to me. Of course I do. Why, that's just plain simple for someone of my experience and talent. I was weaned on magnetosphere regulators as a pup, you know. Well, I guess I could install it. I'm certainly the only one that can install it right. Installing a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator is pretty tricky. Okay, I'm here. But I'm still not sure that this isn't the right part. Or that it's not a trap somehow. You know, I'm much too valuable to waste. Maybe I should let someone else do this. Later. Much later. Gecko sure owes me now. Being pretty good now, all right. Could still do with a tiny bit of tune-up, maybe. But I'd say it's a pretty good job all the same. I mean that the reactor's running now, but it sure could run better. I mean better by a long country mile. If we just had a smidge more data. Now if you could get the optimization data, we'd be cooking with gas. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Well, you could probably get the information from the Vault City Central computer. I bet a clever one like you could just sneak in there and use a hollow disk with the reactor performance information on the central computer. Then sneak the disk right back here. That'd do it. I'd do it myself, but I'm just too valuable here to leave, even for a moment. That's the spirit. I was uh, hoping you'd say that. Great. Just use this disk here on Vault City's central computer and then get it right back here. We'll use less uranium, the core won't leak so bad, and this vault city won't have any reason to come exterminate us. I sure wish I could spare the time to go do it myself, but I can't. All I can say is, thanks, kid. You'll be doing all of us here a big favor. <laughs> you make me so proud.
were getting the data we needed from Vault City to optimize this leaky old beast. You're a sly one. No denying it, by cracky. Almost as good a job as I could have done myself. Of course, if you want to actually finish the dang job, just use that disk on the robot control terminal. Understand me? You have done well. Both Vault City and Gecko have reason to rejoice. With our reactor working at top efficiency, my plan to take over the world may near fruition. Now you may leave. I have work to do. Why, of course I am. All part of my grand scheme to take over the world. I wouldn't expect your deficient human brain to understand. But, alas, what concern is it of yours? Most Interesting. And here I thought you were concerned for the well-being of Vault City. Anyway, the safety of that village is integral to my plan. Therefore, I shall grant your request, human. It's amazing. The mole rat attacks on our patrol suddenly stopped without warning. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Also, I shall uphold my end of the bargain. I'll order Stark to cancel the raid at once. As long as the people of that village pose no threat to Vault City, they'll have nothing to fear from us. I'll see to that. Good day, citizen. Of course, citizen. What is it you'd like to know? Excellent. I was worried that the radiation buildup might force us to relocate. You are to be commended on a job well done. Vault City prevails. <laughs>